Are you wondering what is he thinking right now? I'm Rosetta. Pick a card, card number one, card number two, or card number three, and I'll do a detailed tarot reading for you with your guidance from spirit to answer the question, what is he thinking right now? And stick around to the end when I'll also be pulling some oracle cards for you. So let's go. Timestamp for the card you chose will be in the description below. Welcome group one. As I'm shuffling the cards, please focus your mind on your person that you are wondering about. And although this is a group tarot reading and can't possibly apply to every single person who views it, I feel that if you are one of the people who's really focusing on your person, it's more likely that you're going to receive a helpful message from the tarot today. And if, as I start laying out the cards, you do not feel that what I'm saying in relation to uh, your relationship is not seeming like your person or not seeming like your situation, please check out the reading for group two or group three. And after your reading, also, please come to the end of this video where I'll be pour, pour, <laughs> where I'll be pulling some oracle cards for you as well. All right, here we go. What is he thinking right now? All right, right away as I'm pulling out the cards, I see that maybe some clarification is going to be necessary. All right, there's a backstory, Queen of Swords in reverse. There's a backstory with this person of um, unhappy relationships that have colored the way he is seeing you. All right, so we're assuming for the sake of this question that um, most people are probably asking about a romantic relationship, but this could also be any relationship where you, the person viewing this reading, is a woman. Because if this the person in question has had bad experiences with women in his life, whether he's had a bad female boss and you are now his boss, or whether you're in a loving relationship, or whatever the case may be, or whether you are wondering if he is interested in you and you don't know that yet, there's a backstory that's making it a little bit more difficult than it might ordinarily be for you. And we're also seeing the Five of Swords. So we see this situation where he may have been pushed into not being his best self, so to speak. So the way he has acted in the past may not have been optimal. We look beneath the situation under his card, we're seeing the Ten of Cups. So we see the desire for a happy relationship of all of the good things in life. So he wants harmony, he wants peace, he wants to be a good person. You chose the King of Cups, so that's saying to me that the person you're asking about is emotional in nature, um, he's very charming by nature, there's something that really attracts you to him. And we see that there's really good potential that you can have what you want out of this situation with this person because he is open to whatever you are wanting out of the situation. There, there is this, this backstory that is sort of fighting, um, are, that's fighting or making it difficult for him to have the kind of relationships and happiness he wants and making it difficult for him to be the person who makes the first move towards you or in whatever relationship you're asking about. It's almost like you are going to need to 
offer the first olive branch. You are the person who's going to need to make the first overture. If this is a romantic relationship you're asking about, you are the person who's going to have to invite him for coffee. We're ending up with the high priestess in reverse. So this is something I need to know a little bit more about. So who is the high priestess signifying here in this question? So is this signifying um, my querent, the person who's asking, the person who's watching this reading? Um, yeah, so you in this situation, now we still need to, let's back up, we still need to answer the question, what is he thinking right now? We haven't done that yet. The cards are wanting to give us a lot of background and wanting to give you advice about what to do next. We still need to ask, answer the question though. So Spirit is saying that with this person, not to hang back. You have to be action oriented in letting this person know what you want from him. You can't just wait for him to do it, all right? So we still need, what is he thinking right now? And so based on the cards we drew, what is he thinking about you right now is the question I want to ask because that's what's coming up here. All right, what is he thinking about you right now? All right, so here's where you're going to know whether you're in the right place or not, finally. So what is he thinking right now? He's got a choice to make. So he either has a choice to make about um, a relationship he is already in, or he has to make if if this is a question about someone who you are working with, someone you're employed by, someone that is not a romantic relationship, there's a choice that has to be made. You're, he's juggling two options. He's not sure what to go with. He's tending to want to go with the one of the two, the option of the two that is the least chancy. He's not feeling right now in the mood to take a chance when the outcome is uncertain. He's been burned, so to speak, in the past. He is not thinking about moving forward. He's going to take the safest of the two paths. So if this is someone that you are interested in but is already in a relationship with someone else, likely he's not going to change that. If this is a person who you would like to move across country to be with you, but that is the least safe thing. That puts him, he's taking a chance there. He's not in the mood to take a chance. So this is why we're saying whatever you, the querent, wants from this situation, you need to make that clear to this person. Because right now, this person is available for the same thing that you are interested in having, whatever that is. But he's not going to be the person to make the first move or to move at all in this. So if you can speak up for what you want, it's likely that the two of you may be flying in the same direction. All right, that's what I have for you, group one. Please come ahead to the end of this video where I'm going to also be choosing some oracle cards for you. And if this reading spoke to you, please give it a like, subscribe, click that notification bell. And most importantly, I would love for you to leave me a quick comment because I enjoy hearing from you so much. All right. I will see you in the oracle card poll at the end of this video, sending you love and blessings and see you soon. Welcome group two. So please focus your mind as I shuffle the cards for you on the person that you are interested in hearing about. This is a group tarot reading, so it's never going to be the same experience as scheduling a one-to-one -one tarot reading with me. 
but I believe that if you are one of the people who really focuses on what you want to hear from this reading, there's a better chance that you will receive a message that is helpful to you. All right, let's see what we have for you, group two. What is he thinking right now? All right, lots of choices. Okay, you're going to know if this is your person, if this is someone who um, is by nature reckless, by nature likes to take chances, always in action, lots of different women in his life. He tends to act first and think second, if at all. So if this sounds like your person, hang in with me and uh, let's do this reading. If this does not sound like the person you're inquiring about, please go check out the reading for group one or group three. All right. So we've got a profile of who this person is. We want to know what is he thinking right now? now. And I'm going to rephrase that to say, well, what is he thinking about you right now? So in general, let's go back. In general, what is he thinking right now? We're going to pull a card just for that. And what is he thinking about you right now? And anything else spirit wants us to know? All right, so Three of Pentacles in reverse. What is he thinking in general? He's at this point where he really doesn't know what he's doing with his life. He may have started out on one path in terms of his career, and now he's feeling like, wow, I'm not doing as well at that as I thought I would be. Gosh, should I cut my losses and try something else? So he's preoccupied with his career and what his role is in life and what he's trying to do and he's trying to get a handle on that. Um, what is he thinking about you right now? Ace of Wands in reverse. He's really not thinking anything about you right now. And what else does Spirit want us to know? The Magician in reverse. So Spirit wants you to know that putting thought and effort into this person is not in your best interest at this time because he is focused more on um, what he's going to what he's going to do to make a living is he in the right path is it time to cut his losses oh my god should i start something completely new you know is there time for me to start all over again and the other thing that we see with him is that um, he tends to be somewhat of a player. He tends to be reckless. He's always going to, um, this, this is a person who likely is a flirt, um, is always going to be playing a few different people in his stable. He's someone who is looking for what's the best thing for me. He's always going to go after, of course, we all think about what is the best thing for us, right? But in particular, because of all the cards surrounding this, um, he's only looking out for number one. He only cares about himself and number one, and that is his focus. And it may be that he's in a time of life where this is appropriate, where he feels like he needs to get his act together. So that's what's going on in his mind. So I just want to pull an extra card for you, the person who's asking about this, and advice from spirit. Just um, And of course, I'm going to be pulling after we finish the reading for group two, if you go to the end of this video, I'll be pulling some oracle cards for you as well. So please do check that out. But any other um, wisdom for the tarot, for the querent, for the person who asked this question? Yeah, so <laughs> Spirit is saying that... Um, she does not want you to continue to obsess about this person. And she wants you to get in action 
and go as many places as you can go, do as many things as you can do. If your question in this reading was about a romantic partner or someone you would like to be a romantic partner, you are going to find that elsewhere. And it's going to be the easiest for you to find the right person for you when you are in action when you are going every place you can go you're doing everything it's possible to do you're getting involved in as many different things as you possibly can that is what spirit wants you to do right now for your ultimate happiness at this time so hey if this reading spoke to you please give it a like subscribe, click the notification bell, and most importantly of all, I would love it if you leave me a quick comment and move ahead to the end of the video where I will also be pulling some oracle cards for you if you're interested in that. Okay, sending you love and blessings. Welcome group three. As I'm shuffling the cards for you, please focus your mind on the person that you are interested in hearing about. This is a group tarot reading. It's never going to give you the same kind of specific answers that you would in a one-to-one -one tarot reading with me. But I believe that as you focus your mind while I'm shuffling the cards for you, that it's more likely that you're going to get a useful answer that's helpful to you. As I lay out the cards for you, this does not sound like the person you were asking about. Please check out the reading for group one or group two. All right, what is he thinking right now? What is on his mind? Knight of Pentacles and across from that, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. What is on his mind? What is he thinking right now? All right, so he is thinking and concerned right now. What's the overriding thought in his mind is he is thinking about money. He's thinking about how to make it. He's thinking about how to get more of it. He's thinking about what he needs to do to get more of it. Okay, Queen of Wands, um, it's looking like there is a breakup in his recent past, and it's just he has no interest, Ace of Swords in reverse, he has no interest in anything or anyone that is not about his financial security. You know, it's just he's one-minded one or single-minded at this time. Now, this is not to say that he isn't interested in happiness. We have the sun beneath him. But everything is colored for him on this one topic. Money, 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 money. Okay, so if this is sounding like your person, stick with me. If this is not sounding like your person, please check out my reading for group one or group two. All right, we see some reverses um, on the horizon here. So this is, it's almost a case where he is so hyper-focused on this that everything is going wrong. It's like he's trying to hold on so tight and make this happen so much that some important things are passing him by. Like there's an easier way for him to get to this money, money, money goal, but what he's not seeing because he's just feeling, I've got to make this happen. I've got to make this happen. And so he's not even seeing people who are coming to help him. He's not even seeing situations where he already has so much of what he wants, but he's feeling like if it's not financial, if it's not money, he's not even seeing it for whatever reason. So what more can I tell you about this? Um, what is he thinking right now? Is there anything else that he's thinking that applies to you, the person asking the question? All right, so is, is he, are there any thoughts about you in the mix right now? Yeah, not at all. We've got the three of swords in reverse. So this is leading me to believe that 
uh, if you are in the right place, what this reading is saying to you is the more that you focus on this person and what he's thinking and what his intentions are and what he's doing and what he's focused on in life, the more you think about this, the, the, um, there's just an empty sadness here because your concern is not being returned right now. So I would not be surprised if some of you asking this question, this, this could be a question of a recent breakup. So if you're asking about a person who recently had broken up with you, I see no going back from this at this time until he settles this question, the money question the financial future question. They, does his job pay enough? Does he have a job? Is there a career that will be better? Is he up for a promotion and he's completely obsessed with whether he's gonna get it, how's he gonna get it, all right? So once he has settled this question, once he's feeling more secure, um, at that point, will he be interested? Or at that point, will his thoughts turn to you in some way? Right? Perhaps, perhaps, because he still wants this kind of happiness. The thing is, he feels that all of his happiness right now is tied up with how much money he has and how many things he has. And does he have all the things that he feels he should have? Can he do all of the things that he thinks a successful man should be able to do? So it's not like never, there may be a time, so now he's facing the Ten of Pentacles, now he's facing the Page of Pentacles, so at some point he may be able to lift his head, look up, and see what else is there for him, but I don't see it happening at this time. So I'll tell you what, please stick around because right now in about 10 seconds I'm going to be pulling some oral co-cards for group one, group two, and group three. So if you'd like a little bit more and hopefully maybe something that will be a little more uplifting and positive, stay tuned for that. But if this reading spoke to you, please give it a like, leave me a quick comment, and of course I would love it if you chose to subscribe and click that notification bell. Okay, here we come. Let's have some oracle cards now. All right, my Oracle card deck of the day, everybody, is the Divine Abundance Oracle cards. Let's see what we have. So we're going to be pulling a card for group one, group two, and group three. And if we need more clarification, we may pull extra cards, but let's just see what we get here. Now, these may or may not relate to the question of what is he thinking right now. These might be more general guidance from spirit just for you. We'll see what we get. All right, group one. Whoa, cards are going wild. Group two. Group three. Okay, group one. Allowing, your message is allowing. Radical acceptance says yes to reality in any given moment. So what's needed can come next. So in, in situations where you want to change it, you think, you know, so long as I have enough desire, anything is possible. I can change this situation. But if your experience has told you, you keep hitting a brick wall about this situation, then you may have to say yes to the reality that you're currently experiencing so that something better can come into your life. All right, group two, let's see what we have for you. Deepening. Once you're on earth for enough lifetimes, your old soul will begin to long for non-grasping, detachment, and surrender. They bring the peace of God. Okay, sometimes I like to interpret these a little bit differently. So deepening 
in the current situation that caused you to ask this question, to come to, come to this particular reading, the what is he thinking right now reading, whatever situation caused you to want to watch this reading, can you look more deeply into the situation and see like what can I learn from what I'm experiencing with this person? the he of the what is he thinking right now. So what have I learned that's of value to me in what I've already experienced in this situation? And how can I use that? Like here's what I've already learned about this situation. Now what can I do with this information? Because maybe I already have my answer without getting inside his head and thinking what is he thinking right now? If I think about all the interactions I have had with this person and what I know about him so far, are, what is my answer? It's just going deep into that question and seeing what have you already been taught by spirit about this situation with this person and group three, inner child. Allow me to give compassion and love to that little one inside. That means that the inner child inside. Let me attend to its deepest needs and feelings. So here in context of the question of this reading, how I interpret and read this is sometimes when we're outer focused and we're worried about what someone else is thinking, we're not taking care of ourselves. It's like we pin our feelings on, well, what is the other person feeling? And if that other person is thinking what we want them to think, then we're feeling better. If that person is not thinking what we want them to think, then we're feeling less good. So let your inner world be still self-loving, still feeling blessed still feeling like you're living a wonderful life, no matter what this other person is thinking right now. All right, guys, that's what I have for you. Please don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell if you found this reading to be of value. And I hope to see you all in my next video. Blessings.